Hey Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia at the Fuzzy Goats. I'm happy to be here with you today. It's a hot Tuesday here, which I'm sure it is, and many other... I just realized I don't have any of my projects out. Hey Madeline, can you just hand me those bags? I have all this stuff around me, but none of my projects. I just realized. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's, we're just going to pull them as we go. I have a lot of stuff I want to show you today. So some of it is stuff that I want to show you with my projects, but I realized I hadn't pulled them out of my bag. So, um, yes, so it's Tuesday. Uh, next week is July 4th, and, yeah, we're, we're hanging in there. We're doing having some work done in our house, as you know, and I'm really happy to be here at the shop every day so I don't have to deal with it as much as my husband does. Anyway, so I want to show you some new stuff and um, yeah, let's start there. Let's start with some new stuff. All right, so um, it might help. Well, let me show you this way. So this is called a mini minder. I think that's what we're calling it. M mini, now I can't remember the name of it. Mini, yeah, mini minder. So the way it works, we just have some little stand here. I have mine on one of my projects, so I'll show you when I get it out. The idea is you can have it on your wrist and you put your yarn here. It works best if you're pulling from the outside of the ball, obviously. And you can just work and the ball is right there, which is really kind of cool. I typically don't knit that way, but I did. I have been using this to hold my ball of yarn, um, but also I'll show you. So we have the B version, which I think is so cool. Of course, this chain comes off and on um and like i said i've been using mine as a stand and it's worked it's been working pretty good so this is the b let me show you which other ones we have here and um we have i believe this is a sheep i got pretty sure this is a sheep all right and they all have the little handles um, this is the one I got because I love red, and it's got little hearts on it. And we're calling this heart the, I'm not sure what the last thing is because it came off our tag, but that's the heart one. Uh, what are, let me see, the sheep one, we were calling this wool something because it's a sheep, wool something. This is the bee, which we are calling... Honeybee, oh, that one makes that makes sense. The honeybee, and then the last one we have is the flower one, and it's called flower something. Um, very cute. It's got the red under there. Yeah. So the way, so I think I kind of showed it to you, but the way it works is, um, I think this comes off. Here we go. It's doing that wrong. That's why this comes off. Okay. This whole handle comes off. And then you you guys may have seen this. We saw this at market, and that was the first time I'd seen it. Of course, you know, I am kind of a closet knitter. But um, so this, you know, goes, pokes in here, and you put your ball in. I'll show you when I pull it out of my project. And you can use it like this, and it kind of spins around so it doesn't go get lost and go rolling all over the floor. And then, again, you can put this handle on there and carry it with you. You know, depending. I, um, when Ryan was here, he was doing that with... Um, socks so I, I definitely can see it with socks so anyway so that is the mini minder okay guys i have my phone today i see a lot of y'all watching and putting comments up there and i appreciate it i can't see it i can't read it so i'll i'll get to the comments later after we're done i am wearing the plenilune top oh, i guess i could talk about that right now um which i made with the um sea silk from sweet georgia we got a new shipment in last week, so I'm just going to show you what we got in, and you guys can... Oh, wait, what is she saying? Okay, I'm sorry, I thought you were saying you couldn't hear me. Oh, something about the mini minder. Okay, I'm like, I'm also using the mic with my phone, so I'm hoping that that is working too. And it seems to be. Seems to be. All right, so let me show you the colors we have in um, of the sea silk. I think I used two skeins. This um, sea silk lace it's a, is a lace weight has 494 yards so i'm i'm sure i wasn't more than two um this color is moonlight 
and we kind of, we, we had, well, I did. I think I picked these out in market. Um, this is, ooh, <laughs> I think this is supposed to be, <laughs> it's supposed to be foggy do, but I, <laughs> when I was putting the words in there, it's foody, floody, F-L-O-D-D-Y, actually, foggy, F-O-G-G-Y, look it up, foggy do, foggy do, and then we have this, they're kind of in the same family here, fresh air, put the shine on that, and then, okay, let me show you these others, because I think they kind of go together. We went with this one, Keepsake. And I'll tell you the blend, too. It's uh, 494 yards, 65% silk, and 35% sea cell. This pink right here is called Fable. And then this is Camilla. You could do a nice fade. And we have this pink, which secrets. I don't think we've had this one before. Oops. Oops. And this is strawberry tea, which is what mine is made out of. Strawberry tea. And then we have Cadence's color. I say Cadence color. I love this color too. With Deep Cove. We got more of this in. So check it out on our website, fussygoatyarns.com. Um, I have also... I spent last week, some of last week, putting up new patterns for some of these yarns too. So make sure you check it out on the yarn website when you go to that that page, um, and um, you know check them out. I'm trying to get more shawls in there. I know I do a lot of sweaters, but I'm trying to get some shawls in there. All right, so let me talk about some other kits that we got in. These were from Market as well. Oh, that's loud. I can show you this way. This is called Switchback. Um, it's from Polka Dot Sheath. They use two skeins. Um, can you see that pretty well? It's the, the construction is really cool, I think. We have it in three different colorways. We have this blue, which we're calling water toe. What are we calling this? Sorry. I'm going to open it. Um, mm -hmm. Waterton, sorry, Waterton. So we got two, the same colors, two skeins, two skein projects, which is really nice. Um, let me show you the back of this. Sorry. Come on, pattern. I just want to show you the back too. So you can see how it just shows up the different colors. Really cool. And it's not too bulky either. So you can kind of wear it as a scarf. Um, it is a fingering weight and it uses a four, US four. So I will not make that noise putting that back in there. I want to show you the other colorways we have. Um, uh, rising Wolf, which is the red. Be great for the holidays. It's so hard to think about the holidays right now, isn't it? Because it's so stinking hot. And we're still in June. I mean, only in June, not still. Only in June. And this one is called Two Medicine. Medicine, Two Medicine. So more of the green colorway. So, yeah, super fun. Super fun. Okay. So that's the switchback. Again, that should be up on our website. I'm just looking around to see where I want to talk about next. Um, okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is we're, we're, we're kind of calling it Christmas in July. So we have these kits we just put together. Um, Alicia from Knitwise helped us. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Um, she helped us put these kits together. So we have three different colorways here. I'll just show you the pattern too. Um, I can't remember, Alicia had brought this to us to show it, and I fell in love with it because I love the idea of a Christmas sweater that doesn't see, scream Christmas. You can see on the bottom, she's got some Christmas trees and on the bottom the sleeves, and of course we've got the Christmas light. But what I didn't want to deal with, all those different skeins, mini skeins, whatever, for the lights. So, let me show you what we came up with. We came up with this. Ooh, I've got mine wound up because um, I think next week I'm going to cast it on. I know Christmas in July, right? I don't want to be rushed. I want to work at it at my leisure. So I think I'm going to start this maybe on July 4th. So this is going to be the lights. So it's going to be totally fun. The lights are kind of um, a bobble, I think she calls them, bobble-esque. It's like four or five stitches, I think, to make it. Otherwise, it's a pretty simple pattern. Uh, she also has it in a DK weight, but this is fingering. Um, so this will be my main color, and I think we're calling this, it's a holiday light kit. Um, we have two different sizes, which pretty much runs almost all the sizes that the, the writer has written it for, not all of them. 
This is the dark green version, obviously, dark green. And this will be the light. And then we have uh, this little, it's a half skein for the Christmas trees. So super excited about that. Let me show you the other colorways we have. We have a blue green. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Is. So this is the skein not wound up. But Madeline and I were like, ooh, we got to see that wound up today. So totally fun. Um, so this is the, all the kits include one skein of this for the lights. And then depending on your size, we've got, this is, we're calling that a blue gray, I think, which is very similar to the cover of the pattern. And then they all include the half a skein, which should, should be for the Christmas trees and then as well as the, the stringing the lights together. Um, so yeah, again, it's holiday light, holiday lights kits. So that's, We've got the dark green, we've got blue gray, and then the last color is, put that in there, is mist, which has always been, um, that, it's almost like a Jackie O, always been a very a favorite of mine. So this is the mist. So it's a Christmas sweater, but it doesn't have to scream Christmas or holiday, right? So there, there's the, the three of them. Isn't that fun? So check it out um you know i'll be i'll be we can do a little knit along and y'all can join in if you'd like to but it's going to be fun christmas in july i have never made a christmas sweater period um for fun or like this one i think will be more serious not just a, an ugly sweater but i met a lady um the one of the ladies that came here from well from California. She met her friend here, but recently had moved to South Carolina. So they met here in Thomasville. And she was saying that she knit her son in Tarja vests for Christmas. He wanted like an ugly sweater vest. And she thought one was going to be good enough. But then like every year he'd be like, okay, I need another one now because for an ugly sweater, you don't want to wear it again and again. But this one I think will be fun and I can wear it more than just around the holidays, you know, just in that winter, wintry spirit. Okay. So check that out. Uh, what else do I want to say about that? I think that's it. All right, so I think I'm ready to talk about my projects. Thank you, Madeline, for getting them out for me. All right, I'm just going to grab them. Grab them and go. Well, let's do this one then. If I can find the bag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And it's not in here. Hang on. Hang on. I got me some new tea today. Came to the shop. All right, so this is the... Um, Pasadena pullover. This is the back that I finished and it, to me it looks kind of long but maybe not. Maybe it'll be fine. Um, so I finished I finished it and I have started the front. This is a class we're doing here in the shop. It's using blue sky organic cotton um, sport weight and it's really nice. So this like I said I started the, the front. Here we go. The front did my little cast on and I'm not quite finished with chart one. I think when, I think when you get to chart two, chart, chart three, they go really fast because um, it's more doing the chart, which I just love lace work. So it's been really fun to do um, getting into, getting into lace work again. And I am really ready, which I'm excited about this one to get into some color work again. I haven't done color work in a while. So again, that's a Pasadena pullover um, that's using blue sky cotton organic cotton. So you can find that on our website. If you're interested, we still have several colors and quantities if you wanted to join in on this knit along or not knit along but while I'm knitting. All right. Um, so I have other samples out here. So I want to make or colors or yarns that I wanted to make sure I showed you all. Okay. This one I got a little obsessive with. Um, in fact, my husband would be like, why don't you work on that sweater? Um, this is the Luminos sweater T. Luminos T. L- U M I N O S T. And I really was kind of struggling with, not struggling with the construction, but it's like, okay, I'm just going to follow directions and hopefully it's going to take me to the, where I wanted to go. But look at how fun this is. So I have now, I did it, I did it flat. You join the pieces, you do it in the round just for a little bit. It looks like more than a little bit, but it was just a little bit. <laughs> I can't even remember how well, when I did it. Okay. Anyway, you joined in the round for a little bit, 
And then you shifted the swish, you shifted the yarns. I think I know what's happened is I just got jamming on it, and I really am. This is where I joined in the round. Um, and now I'm working back and forth. So yeah, so you can see. So what you did is once you were finished in the round, she had you slip the stitches because you were doing part of the front part, like the like the front back, front back, and then you shifted it so that you now I'm working all the front, and then the back is on hold. But these stripes are quite addicting. Um, they're so it's so close. You don't have to do any carrying. And I, of course, I love the colors I pick. It makes me really happy. And I think I have probably about 10. No, no, no. Probably about 16 more rows of this color. And then I think I start. She also gives you directions. Um, if you want to make the armholes. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't read it longer. This is the side right here. Um, is that right? I'm, I'm okay down. Yes, because that is the front. Okay. Um, I should have gone longer, but then my stripes were gotten wonky down here somewhere. But she does allow you here. She says if you want to make the arm holes longer, which I think I'm going to do it. Although you know sometimes I don't like them being too long. It's fine. It's fine. So that's where I think I'm going to make mine a little bit longer. Um, and again, it's really been fun. It is fingering weight yarn. And you can have a lot of fun. So what I did is I pulled some of our 29 bridges so that I can just maybe you know show you some color combinations with it. But I, yeah, loving it. Loving it. Okay, luminous. That is the luminous where I'm going to put my projects here. Okay. So, um, and I can't remember who, maybe Joe, I can't remember who told me that there were some changes that she made to the pattern. Not changes, but additional notes that look like. Because there was a part where I was like, what's happening here? So anyway, um, this is it. Luminous tea right here, right? And I thought it could be fun, you know, if you wanted to do a gray with this fun uh, pink, speckly pink. Again, this is 29 Bridges, our pop-up. This gray is called Carbon. I, I love a good gray. I know a lot of people are like, oh, gray. But if it's a good gray, man, you can do a lot with it. And then this is called East End. So that you can match those up or you could go like Madeline who loves this hot pink that she's making a sweater out of and this is front row and you can match it up with this dream that would be kind of fun then of course I'm a I really like this color too I think this is Harbor no Caraco ah, look at that yeah that's one of my colors too and you could do your some of the stripes in this or you can reverse it I mean this could be your main color this could be your stripes this color is sea glass. I love the different dyers interpret sea glass. Like I think we've had two or three of them do sea glass. Then you could do something really subtle. You know, if you don't, you know, you just kind of want to keep it in the same family, more the stripes will be more subtle. This is called Inya, I-N-I-A. And this is called Venus. So you could do that. Speaking of Venus, makes me think of tennis. And you know I love tennis. And guess what starts next week? Yes, Wimpleton. And I also, um, yes, I, I kind of binged, um, I binged watching Netflix this weekend um, while I was knitting. Because our house is, is we're, we were kind of into, squished into one room with our dog. So we just kind of watched a lot of TV. I did. And I knitted a lot. And I watched the um, Roger Federer last 12 days or something. Oh, that's a good one. Good movie. Documentary, I guess you call it. All right, so what I want to show you next. All right, I'll show you this one. Oh, Madeline, I need your help again. <laughs> Madeline, you hear me? I think I left my little my little um, kid bag over here. Sorry. I thought I was being so organized, and then you can toss it. And then I realized it wasn't so organized. All right, so this is one that I, I did cast on last week I think it's called a Shona top and it calls for I mean I've been trying to look more at what yarns they use for their version not that you have to do that but um, it is a linen blend that they use of course I don't have it on this piece of paper and I had toyed with we have a nice linen blend but um, I ended up it's a DK weight I ended up going with in here. This is Isair 
and it is it's a heavier yarn yeah oh yeah echo baby that's right you say her echo baby um and it is it's a cotton alpaca blend it has let me see 164 yards on it and it is a dk and their cut the cut their colors are naturals so i oh boy this is going to be kind of messy to see because there's a lot going on okay so this this is the back you start at one shoulder. Well, actually, what, what you started is one of these straps. And then you put it on hold in the back. Then you did the other, <clears throat> excuse me, other strap. And you come down to here. Then you cast it on and you joined and you went down to here. So this is the armhole, okay? Then you put those on hold, as you can see, they're on hold. Then you come over here to one of the straps. And this is where I messed up yesterday. I think I did the right one first and then the left. And then when I was supposed to join them, I was like, oh, this isn't making any sense. So I had to pull it all out. So then I think you're supposed to do the left one first and then the right. That's correct. And then, um, anyway, the directions were fine. I just sitting in a room with my husband and three dogs. Yeah, all weekend. Um, so this is where we are. So I kind of got obsessed with this too once I started working on it yesterday. And I've joined the front. So we'll go for, I don't know, 10 more rows or something. Then I'll join in the round. I believe I'm making mine sleeveless. This yarn is so squishy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's probably a little heavy for this weather for summer. But I thought it would be a cute sleeveless with, um, you know, shirt under it for the fall. And again, the nice thing, well, the reason why I wanted to make it, I guess I could do that anyway, even if I did short sleeves. I, who knows? Maybe I will do short sleeves. But I really like the contrast that they do there. So I have, you know, of course, I have some mini skeins at home. thought this neutral gray I could really have some fun with. So it doesn't take that much, the accent color. And it's crochet. So I, I think I can figure that out. We'll see. Um, anyway, so this is called Shona, S-H-O-N-A. And I thought I would show you, I think this would be a great yarn to use for it. It's the Silk Blend. It's in our sale. It's Ma Manos de Uruguay. We have four, five colors, five colors. It's, um, oh, I can't even read that. 20, let's see if this one's better. There's 150 yards on each skein. It is $20.80 per skein. So let me show you the colors we have. This one is called G-I-R-A-S-O-L, yellow. This one is really pretty. This is called Tahiti. I'm really liking like this teal and the green. I, some, the other shirt that I wore the other day had that in it. It's really cool. This one's really pretty too. Um, oh, emerald. You can see those together. See, there's a difference there. And then we have this pink that has been a very popular pink. This is called Fruit Punch. But again, we still have quantities of this that you could do the sweater in. And this is the last color we have of it, and it is called Earth. So, yeah, so check this out. It is, like I said, a silk blend. It's 70% merino wool and 60% silk. So I think it would knit up real nice. So that's one of the things I had here to show you, along with my project of Shona. All right. And then I'm, now I'm trying to figure out, I like this yarn so much. It's so soft and squishy, like... I think I might make something for a friend of mine. I'm like, oh, that'd be a great hat. Like, it is it is nice yarn. Very squishy, squishy. Okay. All right. What else do I have to show you? That, I'm going to, okay. Showed you that. Okay. Got myself organized here. This one is, I think I could finish this one if I would just stick with it. It is fun. We did watch, uh, this reminds me that we did watch the hockey game last night. I don't know who out there watched the hockey game, but it was the final, Stanley Cup finals. It was very exciting. My team won, um, which was Florida. So this is the Lola top, L-O-L-A top, and it is top down. This is the front, I believe, and I have several, You join, I've joined. So I, it goes so fast because by the time you do like the repeat of the four of the blue and two of the green. I don't know if you call it green. 
it's about an inch. So it just goes real fast. I have probably five more inches to go. And then, um, from what I understand, is I will pick up and do the strap. So let me show you a picture of it. Uh -oh. Here it is. So I don't think mine's going to be, mine's going to have more ease in that. But so cute, I think. So cute. And if you make it big enough, again, you can wear like a t-shirt underneath it. Um, yeah, so Lola top. I've got papers going everywhere. Okay. Um, it's been very fun. It goes very fast. I'm using, the yarn I'm using is Pasquale. It's a cotton linen blend. You use two strands together. You don't, Or you could use another yarn if you don't want to hold two strands. This has not been an issue holding two strands. I do keep them separated. So they don't get all tangly. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. I'll put it back in my O snap bag here. I love my O snap bag, especially for this because I keep it all together, right? It's nice, it's nice. All right, I think I've got one more, two more, two more to show you. I'll pick up this one because this is the one. Yeah, okay. Sorry, this is the one that I have my um, minder on. See, I have it on here. Stuck my little yarn on there, and then it just it kind of comes right off. Doesn't the ball doesn't go rolling around? You can't see that. I'm sorry. Um, this uh, this is my raglan, my Brooklyn raglan tee. I also have on my knit until. Okay, so when you're knitting. Right? I'm knitting around, working, working, working. I can just eyeball and, and figure out how much farther I've got to go, which is a few more inches. Maybe not as far as I thought. So I do probably need to try this guy on. I know I have a few more inches, but um, it does have um, some short rows in the front and the back, you know, because it kind of goes whoop, whoop. But this is a fingering weight as well. I'm using a hella hank, but um, we have a lot of different fingering yarns that would look fabulous with this. I love the sleeve detail. It also has a long sleeve version if you choose to do that. Mine are going to be short sleeves. So yes. Um, all right. My little mini minder in there and my work until. A couple people have asked about that. It's called the work until. Somebody, I think I can see your note. It says, I love Pasquale. I love it too. Um, we've got a couple of their, a couple different ones of their, um, the yarns in for market, which has been really fun. All right, so this is the last one. Yeah, the last one I'm going to show you. This is uh, Lanakai. Yes, somebody was just asking about this. Lanakai tea. And this is where Melissa has gone a little rogue, not on purpose. Um, the little lace patterns, you can see it. Um, they're supposed to have... They're supposed to have seven rows in there. Actually, it's supposed to be more like, because there was an increase row, eight, maybe nine rows between these. By the time I realized it, I talked about it last week, I think, I didn't want to pull back. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep going forward. So here I did it correctly. So there are three chart repeats of the lace. So here I've done one, two. Then I did this space, and I'm, I did my third one here, and I'm going to do a fourth because I'm actually short about eight rows, if not nine. And that's what the lace pattern is. It's seven rows. So I thought I could do a couple after that. And then I'll start, then I should be back on track with my stitch count and everything. And then the depth of my yoke really is what I'm worried about because I've already done my, all my increases. Um, and then I'll start the rag one. So yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to turn out. I actually, I'm okay with the way that, with that gap on the lace. Um, I like it more bunched up. It's a really pretty lace pattern. There's a little cable in there, three stitch cable. I actually um, started, I was starting to fumble, I was fumbling a lot. I wasn't starting, I was fumbling a lot with the cable and this this um, light, it's a light fingering yarn. Um, it is sweet grass, sweet grass, have I said that already? Sweet Georgia, I keep messing that up. Sweet grass is a restaurant here. Um, sweet Georgia, it's the flax and silk fine. So it's like a light fingering, nice to work with. But I was fumbling a lot with the cable, so I decided I taught myself how to do it without a cable, and it is going much faster. It's three stitches. But that row 
it's every three stitches. So it's not like you do three stitches and you knit and then you do three. It's like every three stitches. So um, it's going much faster without the cable, surprisingly. But what I wanted to show you, we got more of this in. So it's finally in. I have linked on the product page of the Flax and Silk, the pattern of this and some other fun patterns. I didn't print any of them out, but um, there's some other sweaters as well as shawls um, for the lightweight ones for the... Oh, here, here's a picture of the Lanakai, which you really can't tell what's going on there with that white. But there are definitely three, three rounds of the lace, and mine's going to be two, but they're going to be wider. So let me show you. Look at this. Fun stuff. The yardage on this, this is the color I'm using, is like 480. Yeah, 480. This is, um, I am going way over. Cassis, this is the color I'm using. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Cassis. If you can believe this is, oh no, it's not. I thought it was Deep Cove. Beach House, which would be really pretty. Oh, this lavender, it's called London Fog. And then we have this one is Daybreak. Look at this fun one. Uh, citron, which shocking. Amber Ale. And Glow. That's a pretty one. And then this is Sage. But yeah. So, and like I said, there I've, I have linked, especially to this one and the Sea Silk, I've linked up some different patterns on there. Um, but, oh, I have one other thing I want to show you. Oh, I do have a lot, a lot that I'm showing you today. Um, this, this is, I have so many that I want to cast on. This, I want to cast this on. This is called the pleated top. It doesn't look so fun. And she used, I believe, a linen blend for hers, um, which you could use this black sin for because it's a lightweight. You could use this for that, for this pleated top as well. Um, but I think I have yarn at home and I, what I think I'm going to do is I have this color. It's called Bluebird. It is Fino. It has 490 yards on it. It is 70% merino wool and 30% silk. So one of the suggested yarns she has is a linen and the other one is a silk blend. So I think I'm going to use this. So, um, when I get to the point of casting that on, but this is one color we've got in this Fino. Look at this pink. How are you? Good. This is brocade. Is that what we're calling it? Yep. Brocade. Look at that pink. Oh. If I didn't have this at home, I'm pretty sure I'd go to this one. Um, this one's been very popular too. This is, oh my gosh, I can't remember how you pronounce it. Malach, Malachi, Malachi, M A L A C H. And I don't think all the word is on here. Um, but that's real pretty too. This is fun and I, I don't it's not quite as yeah, it's pretty bright it's quite as bright as it appears on my screen there this is called pocket something pocket s thank you and then just a few more to show y'all sorry thank you for staying with me here this one is topsy turvy i'm gonna say and This purple, oh, amethyst, and then this one's fun too. Um, poison, that's a rich color. Look at that. We we picked this one out at market. Anyway, just join in my craziness and all these cast on. I was talking to Teresa. She might be watching. Yep, she is watching. And um, what do you ask me? How many? Oh, see, I can't read it skeins do you use? I'm not even sure. What sweater, Teresa? I'm not sure. But we were talking and she, like me and like probably many of you, just, I just can't wait to cast on that next sweater. I don't know. I just get so excited. Um, but Teresa, I will answer you and um, after I'm done, because I my text, my font is so tiny, I can't see you, see what you're saying. But that was really fun for me. I hope I didn't inundate you with too much information and too many options, but you can always text us or um, call or email or leave a message here and and I'm, i can try to answer your questions cadence is on her a little she's calling it a mini vacation i think it's a vacation but a mini vacation and so madeline and carolina and i are here today and tomorrow so call us come visit us yeah we'd love to help you and see you and talk to you 
All right, see you guys next week. And I got to get some of these these off, off the needle so I can start another one, right? Okay, y'all take care and thanks for listening and um, being patient with me today.